morning everybody welcome back to a brand new vlog just gotta make sure i haven't got any avocado in my teeth i'm so excited for you guys to join me on today's vlog because it is our annual pumpkin picking vlog it's gonna be a super autumnal day i just want to start this vlog by saying if i sound really nasally and i don't know just weird it's because i've got a cold and i sound like i don't know just not myself and my voice is very low right now very croaky but i don't feel like really unwell if that makes sense i feel a little bit like under the weather but i don't feel like i can't do anything so as i said today is our annual pumpkin picking vlog and this year we can take teddy we have our little puppy which i'm so excited to take him so i'm just in the process of getting ready callum has just kindly brought me up some breakfast so he's made me some avocado on bagels this is one of my favorite breakfasts like i go to it all the time and it's so delicious and then he's also brought me up another cup of tea because i did have one but i finished it so he read my mind yeah i'm really really excited to go pumpkin picking it's one of my favorite things to do for autumn it's a very nice day out we don't go for too long it's only for like a few hours um but they've got like a little cafe there like an outdoor cafe they've got so many pumpkins um, we're going to the same place that we've gone for the past couple of years which is called over farm in gloucester which is just mm, i was about to say just down the road it's a little bit of a drive not far though it's not a far drive i think i'm over exaggerating so yeah i'm halfway well not halfway through getting ready i'm like nearly done i just need to do some lower lashes and my lipstick and setting spray brush my teeth and then i'm done so i really hope you enjoy today's video don't forget to give it a like if you do and also subscribe if you're new and i'm gonna finish getting ready and then i will decide what i'm gonna wear have no idea it's been raining so guys i'm ready to go pumpkin picking this is the outfit of the day very autumnal i'm wearing my um jacquemus scarf this is literally my favorite thing right now but i did want to wear um like a bright orange scarf which is actually from my nan. So we cleared out her house the other day and we picked out some things and I really liked this like bright orange scarf that she had. And it was really like cozy and soft and I really wanted to wear that today, but I couldn't find anything to wear it with. So I'm gonna have to work on that. I only got it yesterday. So um, yeah, I don't, I didn't really know what to wear with it. So I've worn this one instead because it just goes better with the shacket. The shacket is from Princess Polly, I think literally like three years ago, but I absolutely love it. The quality is really good and it's really comfy. And then I've just worn some seamless leggings and my boots. I literally wear these boots every year pumpkin picking because one, they're so comfortable. Two, they look really nice. And three, they're really good if it's muddy. So yeah, this is the little outfit of the day and we are ready to go pumpkin picking. I'm so excited to take Teddy. I think it's going to be really cute and I really want to get a hazelnut latte maybe. I think last year I got one from there and it was really nice so I might get one of those. But yeah, let's go pumpkin picking. And look at your handsome jumper. You look so cute. Ready to go pumpkin picking. Are you excited Teddy? Yeah. Oh look. You need a jumper. Yeah. <laughs> Your nice Halloween jumper. It's gonna keep you nice and warm. Are you excited for pumpkin picking? Look at that little waggy tail. Look at the little waggy tail. You're so cute. Right, I need to get his harness on and then we're gonna pop him in the car. Here we are everyone. God, it's bumpy down this road. It's um started to rain though, which is great. <laughs> Might have to wait in the car until it calms down a little bit. Teddy's back there. Well, he was asleep, <laughs> but he's not now. How are you feeling about pumpkin picking? <laughs> My favourite time of the year. <laughs> Callum's never really been a fan of pumpkin picking. He just sort of does it for me. But are you not excited to bring Teddy this year? Yeah, I'm holding him. You're holding him? I thought he was just going to walk. Busy today. No, I don't mean carrying him. Oh, what do you mean then? Not walking him on the lead. Oh, alright. Yeah, so it's actually, where did we park last time? It was not this busy last time, was it? No. It's very busy today. I feel like this place has got a lot more popular over the years. And um, a lot more expensive too. 
isn't it? What Couldn't believe it. Kale? I don't know. It's probably because I've got foundation on and it's a I bit darker. You don't look that pale. I look ghost white. <laughs> well, you suit the occasion then, Halloween. Teddy. Teddy. <laughs> look. <laughs> look. He doesn't know what to look at. <laughs> It's a wee bit muddy. <laughs> Come on, Teddy. He hates, he hates the rain and wet, and I'm guessing mud. I do believe that if someone is willing to pay, all their truth. That was the most absolutely muddiest trip that we've ever done for pumpkin picking it was like a swamp but look how muddy i am <laughs> yeah look teddy has made callum so muddy he's also made my leggings really muddy but to be fair we were expecting it as a pumpkin patch and it's been raining what do you expect but um he had a great time what are you doing <laughs> good let's just get all of the seats muddy We've just put that blanket there to stop him from getting the seats muddy, but he's just causing chaos. He stopped a lot of people in the pumpkin patch. Lots of people wanted to say hello. They loved his little jumper. But guys, that over farm, which is where we've been for about three years now, I think this was the third time we went, it's changed. We walked in and I did film like lots of clips of it, but you walk in and they've got a big food court now, which they never used to have. So it's like under shelter, big seating area to eat. And then they've got a few food stalls as well. So we went to somewhere called, well, I got something from the Woozy Pig and it was like tater tots, but it was truffle parmesan. And it was so good, it's like the highlight of my trip. Um, Callum got a pancake, um, a Nutella one. And you said that was really nice, didn't you? And, um, yeah, we sat underneath the cover because it's a little bit rainy still. Very muddy, but we're on our way home now. I'm feeling a bit bunged up and full of cold. And Teddy needs to have a bath because he is so muddy. And we got a couple of pumpkins. As always, I don't normally go like really over the top with the pumpkins. I just sort of go for the experience, for the atmosphere, to make me feel really like autumnal and it definitely has. So I've got one pumpkin that I think I'm gonna carve at some point and put it outside the house because we don't normally Mind do. You say that every year. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do, I end up saying, I say that I'm gonna carve them and put it outside the house and then I end up making it into soup because I love homemade pumpkin soup. But, um, yeah i am gonna try and carve it and then pop it outside our door because i think where we lived this year last year and the year before like in our last house we didn't get a lot of kids like doing trick-or-treating i don't know why it was really like quiet around our, our cul-de-sac but this year in our new house it's a lot busier like the estate is a lot bigger and there's a lot more kids so i do think we'll probably get a lot of people trick-or-treating so i think i'm gonna pop a pumpkin outside get some sweets this year because i think the first year that we were in our old house i did get sweets and then no one knocked on the door 
So we ended up eating them ourselves. But yeah, we had a really nice not time. Yeah, not complaining. Um, but we had a really nice time. I absolutely love pumpkin picking. I feel like it gets me in the autumn mood. And it was really, really good, apart from obviously the <laughs> enormous amount of mud. But um, and that's it was fine. Like, literally like a swamp. <laughs> literally a swamp it it, you, your feet were like sinking into the water and like you were getting stuck as well so yeah but my trainers look like boob boots they did and i'm so muddy like my leggings where teddy's been jumping up at me they're so muddy but i'll put them in the wash they needed to go in the wash anyway so we're on our way home now i'm gonna have like a really nice cozy day i think i might pop to the shops and get some stuff for baking maybe don't know what i want to bake yet though and then we got the grand finale tonight grand finale yeah on tv what rugby yeah england Sammy all Carter. i have on the tv is sports he hogs the tv you have the tv you all hog. day every day you hog <laughs> <What>? <laughs> You have the TV all day, every day. I have it for like two hours. I in don't the have evening. it all day, every day. You work from home and you're always at home. You have it all day, every well, day. Well, whose I problem have, is I, that? I it's have it for a couple problem. of hours to watch the rugby and it's moaned about. No. Yes. No. I, you can't even see. You can't even got. You haven't even got words. <laughs> You know, I was, you know, it's right. You're always watching some sort of series and stuff, and I'm always like, oh, really? Do we have to watch this? And you're like, yes. Shut up. Oh, I'm all blurry. Yeah, we'll see you at home. Okay, guys, we are home, and I'm changed out of my muddy and wet clothes, so I'm just wearing, like, this oversized fleece. But I've just got back from Aldi because I picked up some things for baking. I wasn't sure whether I was going to because I haven't been feeling too well this afternoon, but I feel like I need a treat. So I went to Aldi and I picked up some eggs. I think I only need one to do like an egg wash on these, but um, I use them for breakfast as well. They're the golden yolk eggs from Aldi. And then I also picked up some puff pastry from Aldi so I got two of them um, because what I'm making needs puff pastry. I've got some icing sugar because I always need icing sugar for all of my baking usually so I picked up some of that just to sprinkle on top once I'm done. Got some Natoka. They did have Nutella but they only had like the really big jars and I don't feel like I need that much so I've got this one and then I just picked up something for dinner so I've got the garlic and herb dip from Aldi and the spinach and ricotta flatbread pizza. This is so good. It's one of my go-to like fake ways and I love it. It's just so nice. So what I'm gonna be making for baking, that rhymed, is um, some pumpkin puff pastries, like Nutella ones. So very similar to what I make with the Christmas tree, but just in a pumpkin shape. So I've got some pumpkin um, cutters. I got these off of Timu, but I'm gonna use this one like this size because you get loads of different sizes in the pack, but I think this might be the biggest one and I think it's gonna work the best with the puff pastry. So all I'm gonna do is literally cut out on each sheet and then add the Nutella or Natoka um, on top of one of the sheets and then put the other one on top after I've cut out some little eyes and a mouth if that makes sense so that's what i'm gonna do i think they only take like 15 minutes to cook in the oven so yeah i'm gonna get on and do that and have a nice little late afternoon of baking and then i think i'll probably make my dinner a bit later on and just chill out in front of the tv because i feel a little bit rough <laughs> Oh 
114 to watch Bank Street. Good morning, everybody. It's now the next day. I say good morning, it's good afternoon. It's like nearly one o'clock <laughs> and i'm still in my pajamas i'm actually in a christmas udi sort of thing it's my reindeer one and um it's so cozy and i've also got a christmas mug so it may as well be christmas at this point but look how cute this mug is so i actually picked this up from copenhagen um we went into a shop called flying tiger and i think it's only in copenhagen i'm not sure but it really reminded me of is there a shop in this country called tiger i think there is but it really reminded me of that and they had the most adorable christmas mugs and i had to get this one so it's got like a little cottage on the front and it's got a candy cane the handle is a cat candy cane and then you've got like the little um chimney there which i thought was really cute and is there a wreath on the door? Oh, there's a little bow on the door. I thought it was really sweet, so I picked it up. And it was literally like £4, which was an absolute bargain. So I'm going to have um, my little pastry. I don't think I tried it with you yesterday. I definitely didn't. So I'm going to have one this morning. This is what they turned out like. They turned out so good. I'm really happy with them. Um, and yeah, it's got all like the Nutella and stuff in there. So let's give it a go. very crumbly obviously because it's puff pastry <laughs> that is very good i think if i was to make these again though i'd put more nutella in them like i'd smother it that is really good though and it was really quick and easy to make the longest part was probably cutting out the eyes and the mouth so my plan for today is i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna do my makeup I did put my heatless curler in, but I don't know what's going on at the minute. I don't seem to be doing it as tight, so it keeps falling out in the night. So it sort of looks like this today. But we're actually going to view a wedding venue. Now, I did mention in my vlog. Did I mention it in my vlog? I think I might have mentioned it over on Instagram, actually. I did a Q&A, and someone asked when we were going to be wedding planning. And I said it would be like six months from now. But we are still going to go have a look at some venues just to get an idea of like what we like and sort of the costs and find out all of that kind of stuff. Because we are completely in the dark. We have no idea. I've not even thought about costs. I've not done any prep or research um, on weddings or anything. So just, I don't know. I didn't realise I was going to be planning next year. But I found a really beautiful venue that i think is going to be really nice i think i'm going to love it um so we're going to go and have a look at that today so i'm going to get ready for that we do have another one booked for a couple of weeks time but i've had that one in my sights for ages like i don't know why but i've had it in my mind for like years because i think i saw it years ago maybe on instagram or somewhere and I just had it saved. I just knew that I really liked that venue, but I've never obviously seen it. So it might be that I go and see it and don't like it and the photos did it more justice than it deserved, but I doubt that's the case. I do think it's gonna be really nice. But yeah, this one that we're gonna to see today, I only found like a few days ago. No, maybe a week ago. It was like literally a few days after we got engaged that I found it and then booked it in. So I am really excited to see it because it does look stunning. But as I said, we're not gonna be making any like concrete wedding plans for a while. Um, I've actually got my nan's funeral coming up um, in the next week. So I wanna get that out of the way really before I even start thinking about like the logistics of a wedding um i sort of want to get christmas out of the way and yeah start planning it in the new year probably like mid next year i don't know we'll see how it goes we'll see how i feel but um i haven't really spoken about sort of how i feel about my nan and like getting engaged and sort of all of that stuff and i feel 
weird like i felt so happy when we got engaged but at the same time it was really hard because one of the first people that i wanted to call was my nan i'm not gonna get upset <laughs> um i actually for a moment forgot that she had died and then i sort of like reminded myself like i wanted to call her and then realized and that was quite sad but i didn't let myself get too sad about it on the trip because i know that my nan would have had a front row seat to that <laughs> so yeah it has been it's been very weird it's been very like bittersweet and the idea of not having my nan at my wedding is really sad but um again she'll have a front row seat we'll save a seat for her and um hopefully by the time the wedding comes around it will feel a lot easier obviously i'll always miss my nan and i'll always wish that she is there for like these big moments but i know that she's still here in a way sorry i don't <laughs> i didn't mean for that to go like really sad and deep but um yeah that's sort of what's happening um i'm actually speaking at my nan's funeral which <laughs> i am nervous about but i feel like i've written everything that i want to say in my speech and i feel like i've got it across i didn't want it to be too long but it's not like mega long because i want to make sure i can get through it and i'm going to try and get through it without crying that's going to be very difficult but um yeah i've got that coming up this week so if there is a shortage of videos that may be why i've not really been wanting to film like this is the first vlog that i've filmed that i've actually got through it and thought yeah really like enjoying filming so i do have my moments where the videos I'm really enjoying filming um, and obviously I love putting out content for you guys but if there is a shortage of videos leading up to or after the funeral that's why I just sometimes need a little bit of downtime to just be quiet and in my own thoughts and just on my own but anyway <laughs> I'm gonna sit and finish my pastry and my cup of tea and then I'm gonna go get ready okay guys we are back from the venue viewing and it was nice it was really nice um so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's vlog here i really hope that you've enjoyed it and this is what i wore by the way to the viewing just my flared trousers from plt and this jumper i had to wear something high neck because my fake tan is peeling um really badly on my neck see <laughs> so i was trying to hide it um but this is from boohoo literally like four years ago maybe it's very old but yeah we had a really nice afternoon and um i'm gonna wrap up today's video here because i think i'm gonna post it today so don't forget to give it a like if you did enjoy it and also subscribe if you're new and i will see you in the next video love you guys so much bye